Hi, my name is Gina, and uh, today we're interviewing Thomas Chulong. Thomas is a local Mirawang Gajurang boy from Kananara, and he's just um, arrived back home on his year break from uni in Perth. So tell us about yourself, Thomas. My name is Thomas Chulong from here, Kananara. I grew up here all my life, went to school here all my life, at Kananara District High School. When I got to year 10, decided I wanted to go away, so Dad helped me get to Darwin. Went up there, played, um, played a lot of football up there. Was really passionate about football. Um, spent two years there, year 10 and 11. Year 12, I got accepted to the Clontarf Aboriginal College up in Perth there. And went up there, played football, a lot of basketball too, a lot of sports. And um, yeah, just went to school, met a lot of, met a lot of people there. And, um, throughout that year, it was um, constantly, like throughout the year, going up to Curtin University, working with um, with the Indigenous students there, and also um, non-Indigenous students. I like mentors, and um, worked with a program called AIM, which is Australian Indigenous Mentoring Experience. Did a lot of work with them, and yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, built a lot of bonds and friendships with some mentors over there, and they helped me. Um, get into uni so they helped me do my application up and by the end of um, 2015 I got accepted to um, participate in university in 2016 um, at Curtin University. So yeah and um, for the last two years been studying there and this year I decided to come back home and take a year off and just kind of work, make a bit of money so I can go back nice and refreshed back to Perth in the start of 2019. What are your short and long term goals? My short term goals for this year is probably um, just get involved with the community more. Um, like, you know, like, like save up, make some money, save up, um, get it, um, spend some time, spend a lot of time with my family, and um, yeah, just, just talk to a lot of kids around the community. Um, talk to them about my journey and, and if they want to help get up to Perth and um, study, whether it's for school or for uni, whatever education they want to do, I can talk to a few people in Perth trying to get them get them down there. Just kind of do the same what other people done for me when I was in school. So that's my short term goal. My long term goal is to basically just enjoy myself here in Kannara and hopefully get back to university and finish off the rest of my degree. and. Um, go from there. Uh, how is uni life different to living in Kananara? Oh, it's very different. Up in Perth, you've got about two million people. Here in Kananara, you've got about six, seven thousand people. So it's a real, real different ratio for people. There's so many people up there, so many different multicultural people up there, and you meet so many different people from different backgrounds. And it's just amazing learning about everything up there, and you learn about the city life up in the sea life is like, it's just completely different, you know, like, you know, up there you gotta pay for parking, here you don't really have to pay for parking, you're so busy, for, you're forever waiting in line, in the shops and all that, here you can just walk in the shop, and so it's really different, really different lifestyle, it's a, bit, it's a bit cool up there, so you have to like kind of wear different clothing here, you can walk around with a singlet there, you have to walk around with a jumper, so it's really different, and the uni life, you just gotta, when you go to class and stuff, you gotta kind of dress kind of casual here, you can, you know, you don't have to dress up, but yeah, it's real different. You just gotta kind of learn to adapt to it, and after about a few months, you get used to the life up there, so yeah. What do you do with your spare time outside of uni? Um, I do a lot of things, like, the biggest thing I probably do is like play basketball, either risk going down to the park with a few mates or playing in my local local comp up there in Perth, which I play Monday nights and um, Thursday nights sometimes. And um, yeah, I like going to the gym a lot um, when I actually get the time, so I don't really have my time to go to the gym, but when I do, go to the gym, hang out with friends. And um, just recently, for the last year, um, just started making like a lot of videos and stuff and um, trying to work on my music, so I got really involved with my music. And just, um, yeah, I love computer work, doing a bit of 
you know, mixing songs with the DJ equipment and um, yeah, just trying to save up so I can get some more equipment and so I can make um, hopefully make more more music for myself, for me and my me and my brothers work on a bit of music and yeah, like I said, get the equipment so I can um, focus on making more advanced um, videos. What do you enjoy most about coming home? Biggest thing I love about coming home is definitely seeing my family. You know, my um, my dad. You know, come home and see him and just um talk to him about. You know, he's constantly teaching me lessons in life about how to be a man and um and yeah. So when I was younger, I never really knew what it kind of meant, but now as I'm a bit older, I finally understand. You know, he's he's um all the things that he says is preparing me for. You know. I'll, the world out there when you're an adult you know it's like it's really hard out there you know every, every, every person is for themselves and if you don't if you don't look after yourself you know um, you don't watch your own back yeah um, you know you gotta be careful out there so um, yeah just love talking to my dad yeah my big thing is family and I just love coming um, you know seeing the countryside different countryside up here in Kananara love going out fishing you know with my brothers and yeah, just, just just love just love how peaceful it is here. You know, it's not no traffic really up here, and just you can go out bush. You know, because while I was staying in Perth, it's mostly like city and buildings. So I was staying right in that central area of Perth. So here in Kananara, just I just love enjoying the bush and going out there, and it's like nice fresh air, and it's just like so beautiful. Yeah. Now that you're on your year break. What do you plan to achieve before returning to uni? Oh, my year break. Um, well, one of the biggest things I've been thinking about it lately was just um, I really want to inspire other kids to do the same thing as me, you know. Um, whatever they want to do, if they want to go up, um, go up Perth to do whatever, play football or um, do uni like I did, you know. Um, I just really want to kind of, if I can at least you know, inspire a few kids to do to do the same as me. At least, at least I want to try and get a few, few um, people around, but you know, a bit younger than me, just leaving school, or even the young kids kind of get into their mind at a young age to um, look forward to to going to uni because it's a really good experience. And I mean, like for the young indigenous kids here in Kananara, you know, I see them and they like they don't know what to do, you know, kind of with their with, with their life and everything. Like like they, they just don't know what direction to go, you know. So. Um, yeah, if I if I can just give them a bit of guidance to try and to um to get into that to get into the lifestyle, I want to go further studies. You know, if I can help a few of them get there, you know, I, I would that'll be one of the biggest goals I can achieve for this year while I'm on my year break. Uh, what advice would you give to a school leaver wanting to enter university? Um, I would just say go for it. Go and go and take the world on, you know. Go out there and give it your best, you know. Me, I didn't come, you know. I went, I went, I did all my school and graduated, you know. But I was never really, I was, you know, I was pretty educated, you know, from my mom and dad, you know, doing the hard work getting me to school. But some people don't have that opportunity to um to get that kind of home support and stuff, so they don't have the chance to go to school. But I'm saying like, there's a lot of a lot of help and support up there and you get up there in Perth just like Aboriginal um, helpers and tutors and stuff can help you so if you really want to develop your like skills and all that you know like it doesn't end there just because you didn't go to school that doesn't mean you can't you know that doesn't mean your education stopped there. That, that's not the end for you you know you can go up there and give it your best go you know and people if you're not really sure about they go to uni or not just go and give it a go because I'll tell you what it's a really good experience it opens your mind up about the world, you know. So many different cultures and and just like so many different things you can do out there, you know. So I really think it's a good learning. It's a real, it's a real good learning. So tell us about yourself, Tommy. Um, process too, you know. You learn 
you, le you learn more life skills there. I figured moving to the city, you learn so much more li life skills than, than, you know, book smart skills, you know what I'm saying? So going up there, you're just learning, you're learning so much. So I, I would really say, if you really, if you really want to do it, nothing's stopping you. Just go, give it your best, give it your best, so take the world on, you know? And, um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. <laughs>